Hey everybody, what's going on? Bo here from Guitars and Games. Um, I have a reaction video for you today. This is Ivor Falling Free live at the Old Theater in Tors Haven. I'm probably butchering that completely. No, I think I got the name right from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, this was a suggestion by one of the, my subscribers um, whose handle is Spellcaster. Uh, they suggested this and said it's another, it was another like completely like pin drop enraptured audience like moment between the audience and the artist and uh you know i'm a sucker for those so um so we're gonna watch it and i'll briefly watch like the first 10 seconds of the video just to like hear it for a second and then was like oh well I'm, I'm gonna react to this so here we go all right let's see yep and of course my face is not in the way. All right, here we go. Well, let's unmute you before I do anything stupid. We have another incident of no sound. All right. It's called Falling Freeze the Song. Interesting, like, chord dissonance. Her guitar work is amazing. It's like dissonant, dissonance, like it's got that like really jarring dissonance tone between those two opening chords. And like it's got, but it's got that whole like really kind of watery vibrato sound behind it, which is really nice. I like that. It's really cool. I wish I could sing that for her.
Oh my gosh, that nose! That nose! Oh my god! Oh! Well... That... <laughs> that makes me so happy. I don't... I have a feeling like it might be kind of sad. Like some of the lyrics, I don't know what Ivor's intentions are, but it makes me feel like joyful. I don't know. Is that wrong? Is it supposed to be a sad song? Uh, her voice is like otherworldly. Um, has anybody listened to Lisa Gerard before? Dead Can Dance or her own solo work? Her group name was uh, Dead Can Dance with a uh, Brendan. Uh, Oh gosh, I forgot his last name. Brendan, her name is Lisa Gerard. She's, now she's an interesting singer in her own right, but she reminds me a little bit of that end part where she was doing the like vocal stuff. But I mean, her voice is just angelic. I mean, it's just like crystal clear, like, Pure harmonies and notes. Makes me feel happy. It really does. I, don't, I hope it. I hope that's the intention of the song because. I mean, it made me tear up a little bit, but it's like happy tears, you know, like. The feeling of those notes, like piercing your soul, and hearing them, like. You know, if you look into physics, like quantum physics and stuff, everything is vibrations. String theory thinks the universe is made out of strings that vibrate in a certain frequency. It's one of the times that... I, the reason I believe that is because when I can hear music, sometimes it's one of the few times I feel connected to something bigger than me. And I don't mean in like, a, I mean more in like a consciousness type connection, like a group feeling, like you're being carried on this wave everybody's experiencing these emotions together and you're being carried on this wave of you know sadness or happiness or love or hate or you know and it's like it pulls you where the singer wants you to go and you don't really control what comes you know that kind of feeling that's i love that feeling when you let yourself go and you experience what the singer wants you to experience. I don't know if I've ever done that for somebody when I've been playing. I don't, it's hard to know. I don't think I ever have gotten to that point where I've been able to do that for somebody. I wish I could, but you know, some aren't meant to. But, um, Thank you all so much for coming and seeing me. I really do appreciate it. And Spellcaster, this was a kudos, kudos to Spellcaster for this suggestion. That was really good. That was awesome, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you all for subscribing and commenting and being so supportive. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a good day, all right? I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.